Morning everybody, got this little man keeping me, keeping me safe this morning, yeah, sorry about the fuzzy grainy picture, it's early and the blinds are down, well halfway, hmm. morning everybody. I got my little bodyguard. <laughs> um, just checking in. I've washed my hair, obviously. Managed to have a shower. I've changed all my dressings myself. They all look good. And Ash has gone to work. It's raining heavily. I've told him to take his coat and a spare coat. Um. And yeah, just just thanks everybody. The, the relief, you know, of of fighting from the beginning with similar symptoms when you're an identical twin. It's been a lot, and and finally, I've got my diagnosis. Now I can put that to the back of my mind, and I can move forward with looking after Suze without this hanging over me as well. Um, oh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it is what it is. I can move forward with this now and just concentrate on, on, on other things. Um, you okay? <laughs> No, cheeky pops. He's been so gentle with me. I miss my babies, but it won't be long before we can swap you back, will it? Clever boy. We can swap you back and go back to mama. <laughs> so yeah, just checking in really and saying thank you. Thank you for your help. Um... There's a lot going on with mum at the moment. She's been told she needs to get off the land by this Friday. Ah, oh, so much stress. Uh, she's lived there eight to ten years with no issues, but the new owners are now using this loophole that if you don't own another property that you pay council tax on, although she's on my electoral roll at my house, then... They're getting rid of a lot of people off that site. Uh, so Ash and Terry, my uh, one of my brothers, are going to go down there this afternoon after work and see what bits and bobs they can move. They're looking to put mum in a home or a hostel until they find somewhere more suitable for her. It's a lot. It's a lot, but I, I've got enough to deal with with looking after Suze and recovering from this, that they're going to have to deal with it for me. I can't deal with it. It's too much. So that's that's a little update. And I'm going to get back into bed now. And I will keep you all updated. Oh, from my wonderful friend, Susie. Thank you so much. Not Suze, Suze. Oh, these are so beautiful. Wow. Thank you, darling. Oh, they are absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. How beautiful. Another update on mum. I have spoken to all of the relevant people and they are looking to house mum and Kev together, but it might be in temporary housing for a short period to start with um, before they find some assisted 
sheltered accommodation, you know, with like a warden or something like that. But I've been assured that that's that that's going to happen. They're not going to be split up and they're going to stay together, which is fab. Um, the only thing that is of um, time is of the essence now is to get her things moved out of the lodge by Friday. So, as I say, Ash and Terry are going down this afternoon to pack up what they can. Um, all of our spare suitcases and things are, are going with whatever mum needs to take with her. And then I've told Kevin all he has to do... Oh, ouch. Excuse me. Is ring and get a man with a van and a storage facility for some short-term storage. Ow. I've got hiccups, sorry. Um, Storage for their things. Oh, there's so much to deal with, but that's another weight. That's another weight off my mind. They're not going to be chucked out onto the street. Hopefully my friend is buying the lodge off mum. Oh, gosh. And that's... Once they're sorted... You know, it's everything's happening at once. And I know, I know people are going through... Worse things and other things. And at the heart of all this, it's only Sue's that matters. She's going through worse than any of us. And that's why I've told Mum and Kev that nothing's as bad as that and that's why I've told myself that I had to I had to go through this to get my answers and no matter how frightened I was I needed to man up because nothing's as bad as what Susie's going through nothing so I've done it it looks like mum's doing it it looks like Kev's doing it and we can we can get we can get through this. Suze can't. Sorry for the down downy down Debbie Downer blog again. I'm I'm planning on going back to work tomorrow. And I'm gonna take it easy. Don't come at me. I'm gonna go really steady and I'm excited to be back out with my clients in the fresh air and taking a step forward to move on from this chapter of shit so I can deal with the rest of it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I will see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.